For my experimentation, I will use two earth ground settings. So this is one I will use on one side, and then I will use an independent network which goes around my fence here up to the end. As well, so this one I have here in the middle. I will use it for a different experiment where I do some um, testing here in nature, also with elevated terminals I will put up here on the side. So we're going to do some testing with this one outside later on. I did build a couple of years ago the Capgen or Tariel Kavanazza device, but I never had the possibility to test it because I did not have the conditions to test it, like having um, proper earth ground and having space and actually the tools to do the testing. So this coil is based on the latest um, configuration and setup from Jolene Dodin. I'll give you the technical drawings of it. So there's actually um, a group of people who have done that, did certain different things and changing of, of a wiring and um, windings. So what we're gonna do attempt here is we're gonna neglect in the first phase power input. So we're gonna take this one away and we replace it with a pulse generator. We have this part of it and I will not draw energy. I will use again my example of a capacitor, how fast can I charge a capacitor so that gives us some information. Um, ground to ground I have more than 10 meter and um, that should be good. I measured um, previously also the resistance between my network and the single rod. It was around 9 mega ohm. So we're going to test this one. And by the way, he did have a high efficiency of over 90%, but it did not break the one coefficiency. So there was no. Um, higher efficiencies than, than one existing, so none of the systems, none of the systems which have been replicated so far um, did break even, they are all below that. Um, so I would see based on the information I have now, with having the right frequency via the ground, if you get more out of it. Um, and let's see um, what I get. So my first test will consist of um, DMM connected to fast switching germanium diodes 1N34A will also take um, the readings from the scope and will tune it into the ground so we have one side connected on the ground which is the power side that means what comes in one of the side of the load goes to ground and from the power generation one side my example here from the driver goes to the other ground let's see what we get we have a similar scenario I just start only in my pulse generator at the moment it's around 3.8 megahertz I get around here yeah, again 1 volt we'll start now my pulse generator and my power supply. So here we go. Again, overshoot. What do we got? The volt. Demon says 47 volt. Let's have a look. That's on the AC side. 47 volt on um, the DC side, so the before was AC plus DC. At the moment it's DC currently, so that's 47 volt on DC. Let's see what happens if I change. Okay, there's a lot of range in there. Let's get down here. 54, 56. A lot of harmonics in there. Let's see, this one is a very strong contender. 
3.7 megahertz let's see if I go down if I get more oh yes it's a nice one it's 1.4 megahertz and then here becomes a stray not so much so let's go back to the one behind four that is 1.2 21 volt that's very strong so 3.8 megahertz has a stronger peak and here DC quite nicely 52 volt let's see if I change no it doesn't make any difference so let's check how fast I can charge a capacitor with that as a little benchmark tool the same capacitor I used before it has at the moment 1.5 volt let's see how fast it charges when I start up my driver whoa that is fast it's much faster than my Tesla coil setup that's really fast but as I said it's only about 25 volt it's quite strange so 50 volt I assume it should stop should not continue because that's what the scope tells me on RMS it's slowing down yeah so that's accurate the measurement it should be around yeah, 52 volt, 53 volt that's the peak I get out here at the moment power input is 9 volt and 700, 760 millivolt um, it's about 7 watt 50 volt now I'm gonna stop it as 52 yeah 52 now see if it's increase if it does increase above 52 it does well it says at the moment 30 27 so it would be 57 58 volt so I'm not gonna wait till 58 volt I'm gonna continue doing some additional setups now um, copper rod in as recommended and change the frequency around 1.4 megahertz and see what we got here we got a double running helix again she says as mentioned because the turns are right clockwise and counterclockwise against it that means we have beautiful double helix structure here voltage is at the moment at 60 volt charged that's beautiful voltage yeah it's about 66 volt it's charged up at the moment to 58 volt if I can influence that a little bit with this power so that happens with increase of power so you have to, to beef up the power input to get that so when we move to a MOF or to an NST this effect should be much stronger and I think that's where we get the power from